Good day, guys and girls. Did you know that Ford is offering free fast charging adapters to charge at Tesla stations in North America? Did you know that if you have a 21 to 24 Ford EV, including Mach-E's and Ford F-150 Lightnings, that you can get this for absolutely nothing? We'll stick around and we'll show you how to do it quick and easy. Hey guys and girls, so today is April 10th, 2024, and you might have seen some articles like this one. This one's from Car and Driver, not sponsored by Car and Driver, but they actually were talking about the Tesla fast charging adapters that Ford is going to be releasing. Ford struck a deal with Tesla to be able to use their supercharging network, and uh, Tesla in the meantime is pretty much locked down the charging head that's on these units, which is the NACS charger type. So now pretty much every vehicle that's sold in North America and the world for that fact, is going to be making the switch over to the NACS instead of what comes stock with the F-150 Lightning and the Ford Mach-E, which is kind of a shame if you were one of the early adopters like me. And in fact, in my case, when I bought two of them and, you know, sooner or later, they're going to phase it out and you're always going to have to use an adapter. But that's besides the point. What we're trying to cover today is uh, getting your adapter. So I, I want to start out by saying I'm a little disappointed with Car and Driver. Um, you can see that this article right here updated to 2924. They actually put a link in here to the NACS adapter. They didn't have this in the article in the first place. Had they had it in there, I would have started ordering it because that was the date that you could start ordering was February 29th. And obviously being April 10th now, there's probably a large list of customers that are waiting for their adapters. Ford has basically said it's a first come first serve, you gotta get on the list, which is fine, but again, it's a little frustrating. So when you actually click on this link through Car and Driver, which I will put in the description, uh, this is for American customers. So getting a fast charger, so you can click on this and you can go through all of the information, as you can see up there, Ford.com. However, I'm gonna go through on the Canadian side, which is identical. So all the steps that I'm showing you here are absolutely identical to what we're showing you here. So we're just gonna close that out. We're gonna close this one. We're gonna go into the Canadian one. So as you can see, Ford.ca, even though everything else is exactly the same, you're gonna basically go reserve your charging adapter. You're gonna click on that. You're gonna go ahead and sign in. So it's going to ask you which vehicle, if you have more than one, I've already done the first vehicle here. So we're going to click on this second one here. We're going to select it. Then you can see all the connected services that are on here. You need to be signed up with the uh, Ford Blue Oval Charge Network in order to reserve this. I don't know why, uh, but you need to. So make sure that that's all connected. You can do that through your app or you can actually do it on here. So as you can see, it's showing you everything that you got. We're just gonna go reserve your complimentary fast charging adapter. And we, it says, we'd like to send you a complimentary fast charging adapter so you can charge it thousands of upgraded Tesla superchargers. So I don't wanna get too far into it, but it says upgraded Tesla superchargers. So that doesn't mean every charge supercharger within North America is gonna work. It's only the upgraded ones. Cause if you pull up and you're trying to actually unlock that charger from the Tesla unit, it might not work because it's not one of these quote unquote upgraded Tesla superchargers. So they're not giving you all the information it's kind of a lot of smoke and mirrors and happy, shiny, fun things, but it's not going to be every Tesla supercharger right off the hop. So if you like to see some of that stuff with the magic plug, the, the, the adapter that Tesla had 
for some of their chargers so that you could plug in a Ford vehicle. I have an actual video on that. We actually charged up in New York State. So that is out there. You can look for that. In the meantime, we'll wait for our adapters to get here. So we're just gonna go get started. Reserve your adapter at no cost. So yeah, it says 15,300 upgraded Tesla superchargers. That's when they get updated. So we're just gonna simply type in all of our information. It's asking for a phone number for whatever reason. We're gonna make sure that everything is okay. And we're gonna reserve. And right there it says that everything has been reserved. And then they also note that demand is very high, but we are working to get your no cost adapter sent to you as soon as possible. When available, it'll ship to and it will show your address. So again, we don't know exactly how long that is, but it is really quite simple to reserve once you know where to look. And you can simply go onto the internet too, and you can type how to order Mach-E Tesla adapter or uh, F-150 Lightning Tesla adapter, but in the description I will have the links for both the American and the Canadian place to actually reserve. So once you complete the process through the Ford website, you'll get an email and it says your fast charging adapter is currently in production. While demand has been very high, supplies are currently limited. We're look, working hard to stock as many as we can, as fast as we can, and we will ship a follow-up email as soon as the adapter is ready to ship, blah, 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 blah. It gives you all the information, the order number, and all that. So if you click on check order status, this is a little bit uh, discouraging to say the least, is that my estimated shipping date, this is the one that I replaced this morning, is October of 2024. So that's a good and a bad thing. The The good thing is, is that probably by that point, all 15,300 Tesla superchargers will be quote unquote upgraded and will be able to use this adapter with it. Now, the bad thing is, is obviously we got to wait until October of 2024. And again, this is where I'm not exactly bad-mouthing car and driver and a lot of the other sources that were out there because I remember reading it in about three different spots and none of them had links to where you could actually go and reserve this. So that's why we're here. I don't like duplicating videos that are out there. There is no videos out there about the step-by-step -step process on how to actually reserve this. So that's why we're here. If you're interested in Mach-E type videos, We've got videos up there on how to install the mobile charger, how to install a Grizzly Duo charger, some of the issues that I've had with the vehicle since we bought it, the red one we've had for coming up on two years now. So if you're looking for maintenance stuff, how to jack up the vehicle, how to block it properly, how to switch over winter tires, you know, stuff like that, how to put on mud guards, how to put on rear grills and diffusers, like kind of tweaky modification things like that. We got you covered here too. You're not gonna have the most flashiest content on this YouTube page, I can promise you that, but you're gonna get all the information that you need exactly when you need it, period. You know, you might get a joke here or there, but I believe that the content is more important than the flashiness and the overall polish of the videos and I hope that you guys and girls think the same. I firmly believe that people are more capable than what they could even imagine. Yes, you might need maybe a special tool here and there that you might not have, but with the knowledge that you're gonna gain on this channel, plus those maybe specialty tools here or there, you're gonna be able to do a lot more than you ever thought, I promise you. Stick around, like, and subscribe if you like this video. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. If you got any questions at all, I'll do my best to answer them. I answer every single question and I respond to every single comment. So let it fly, keep it respectable. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down, but tell me why down in the comments. Constructive criticism is always welcome. I'm always trying to improve this channel. I hope this made this easier for you to order your Tesla adapter. And remember, you never know unless you bear. 
We'll see you on the next video.